all right welcome back everyone welcome back and for today we'll be reacting to the first ever Kirk arena showdown for the korean version right so the original plan was to have a live watch party but unfortunately i was not at home when this showdown was live so which is why we are just doing a reaction to it all right so it seems like okay it's starting from the quarter right the quarter finals and then the semi final and then the third place match and the final matches all right so let's take a look at the first match for our quarter finals let's go all right seems like for our first quarter final match we have a vk versus a lotus all right this will be interesting okay so Looks like for VK, the winning percentage for Kirk Arena is around 59.3%. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I'm not sure why they even bother to show the Kirk score. Alright. Yeah, I guess these are the stats for this player, even though I can't read Korean, right, for this VK player. Uh, next, we have the Lotus player, right? For Lotus is 54.1% winning percentage. Alright. Okay, next let's do great, let's jump straight to the match and let's not waste any time. Alright. Okay, by the way, these are the casters. We have Lila as usual and two Korean uh I do not know their names, but they're also live casting the tournament. Right, so round one should be somewhere around Alright, let's go. This should be round one. Alright, so the VK is wow, level 100, man. And the Lotus is level 98. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, looks like we are seeing the match from the perspective of the VK. Right, looks like the VK is someone who is used to using the back row. Right, notice that again. Right, so he or she back row. Right, to avoid getting CC by the Lotus. Uh, so, so by the way, I do not know the names of the skills of the various classes. Maybe some of them I know. Okay, but I roughly, roughly know whether they are protected or not. Right, so for the for this skill that lo this Lotus player just did, right? You can't actually grab her, but towards the end of the animation, if you time it right, you can actually just grab when the animation ends yeah okay by the way this match right now seems rather even for now yeah uh the lotus have a slight advantage yeah both both of them are good players yeah i mean they know how to use their dodge uh although oh damn nice right the vk is having a slight hp advantage now Okay. Okay, that was dangerous because that skill, the black mist skill is not protected. Oh damn, right, the VK got CC and GG well played man. Oh my god, that was so clutch from the Lotus player. So I guess that's one zero. Alright, one to the Lotus, zero to the VK. Yeah, let's jump right away to the second match. And that will be somewhere around here, I think. One eight Let's go, round two. Alright, let's see what happens here. Okay, who shall take the match? Alright, seems like both of them started the match with their buffs. Alright. Okay, the VK took on the initiative. Okay, notice that the VK likes to use his or her back row. Alright, so if you notice a VK player doing that often, right, just after you use one skill, wait one to two seconds for them to use their back row and then use your next skill yeah it's all about timing yeah sometimes in order to cc your opponent all right nice from the vk wow looks like this round two is very one-sided yeah will the lotus be able to come back yeah i mean even just trading swarmer skills should be dead yeah all right nice from the lotus Right, will the Lotus be able to? Oh, oh wow, well. 
damn. I mean, good effort from the Lotus player, but GG, well played to the VK. Yeah. GG, well played. Alright, let's move on to round 3. Right, so right now the score is 1 1. Right, we shall see what happens in round 3 of the quarterfinals. Right, let's go, man. Right, once again, both players are starting the match with their buffs, level 70 buffs. They have the VK with the rush right off the bat. Right, nothing wrong, wrong with that. Doing whatever it takes to win, I guess. Right, the Lotus player. Not bad. Right, getting the VK in the CC. Using her usual combo. I would say the Lotus uh, is doing slightly better as compared to round 2. Right. Okay, let's see what happens here. Right, the VK is timing his or her back row quite well, actually. Oh, although he or she got CC by the Lotus. Oh my god, okay, that must have hurt. Ouch. Damn. Wow, that comeback, man. Nice. GG well played, man. GG well played from the Lotus player, yeah. Alright. So as you can see here, the Lotus player managed to win the VK. Yeah, so by the way, obviously I can't read Korean. Yeah, so we are just going to refer to the players by their classes, alright? So let's move on to the next quarterfinal match, which will be... Oh well, this is going to be boring here. I mean, Yacha versus Yacha, Broken versus ya Broken. Oh well, let's see what happens, right? Let's jump to the first match. Uh, I can assume, okay? We are going to see a lot of grabbing. A lot of groping, I mean grabbing, yeah. <laughs> right, as you can see, someone already filled his grab. Right, notice that, okay, even though for the global version, we still do not have that visual CC indicator patch yet, but you can see for Yacha, the forward guard, the super armor, and the iframe is almost up 24-7, yeah. Okay, see another grab. Yeah, look at that insane damage, and this is after nerf man. Holy mama. Right, so Yacha versus Yacha, a mirror match in this case. Uh, I guess the advantage will go to whoever can land the first grab, yeah? Or whoever can land the first CC, yeah. Oh, see, someone failed. Damn, right, one Yacha down. More to go. Alright, so that is the end of the first match. Let's jump straight away to the second match for this boring ass matchup, yeah? Alright, so the score is 1 to 0, alright. Let's see if any interesting, anything that is interesting will happen, alright. Or if it's just the same old grab, smash, grab, smash, yeah. Oh, someone gonna grab, alright. So the grabber has the advantage now in terms of HP. As long as he doesn't get grabbed back, which he just did, oh well. Right, so now I would say it's pretty even if you right also notice their HP bars at the top. Right, someone gonna grab again. Alright. Let's see if the other player will manage to grab him back. Oh, someone feels grab. Okay, that's not good. And he got reverse grab instead. Oh well, that sucks to be him. Okay, so as you can notice, because of the lack of HP, even just trading super armor skills, he would lose out, yeah. Because his open has HP advantage, man. Yeah, so that's GG, man. GG. 2-0, man. Easy peasy. Right? 2-0. I mean, it's Yacha versus Yacha. I'm not surprised. Alright? Okay, moving on to the next quarterfinal match. Uh, looks like we have a... Wow! Is that a Musa versus Gladiator? Yes! Finally something interesting. Huh? Everyone, finally something interesting. Alright. Okay, let's take a look at the stats for the Musa player. Okay, 52.6% winning percentage. Uh, in general, he won most of his matches. Yeah. For his qualifier stats, yeah, in general. So, must be quite a good player, I guess. For his Musa. Okay, what about the Gladiator? Damn! 6 new. Wow. 
Okay, 63.9% winning percentage. That's rather above average, I would say. Yeah. Alright. And look at his skills for the gladiator player. No deep trust. Huh. Looks like the usual brother uh the usual typical gladiator combo, yeah. With the level 70 buff. Yeah. Alright, let's jump straight away to the first match. Great, let's see what happens here. Okay, looks like we'll be looking the match looking at the match from the Musa's perspective. Right, using old Shrey got grabbed by the gladiator. I mean that's one way to start a combo, but it's not very efficient as compared to a Yacha's grab opening combo. Yeah, because gladiators we just do not do as much damage as a Yacha. Alright. Okay, but the gladiator managed to get the Musa into a daze and then quite a combo, yeah. Look at the damage that's been done to the Musa. And the Gladiator is still almost at full health. Yeah, so if you're fighting against a Gladiator, don't get caught. Yeah. In a CC, yeah. Getting grabbed by a Gladiator is still better as compared to getting uh CC and getting days, yeah. By a Gladiator. Yeah, because uh, he or she would proceed to land a full combo on you, which is what just happened. To the Musa player, ouch, yeah. Alright, so that was round one. Uh, it was rather easy peasy for the Gladiator player. I mean, still good effort from the Musa player. Alright, let's move on to round two. Alright, should be any time now. Alright, round two. Hopefully, the Musa player makes a comeback, yeah. We love comebacks, yeah. Right, so for round two, looks like we'll be starting the match and viewing the match from the glad gladiator's perspective, man. Okay, it looks like this gladiator likes to rely on grab opening. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. You do whatever you have to do to win. Uh, but it's not as efficient as if you were able to land a full combo. Yeah, I mean, starting from a stun to a daze and a knockback and a knockdown. The usual CC combo, yeah? And right, notice he does another grab opening again. I mean, there is nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but you can see that's not very efficient, right? You can see that two grab openings and the Musa still has over half of his health. Right, so this is already the third grab opening combo, yeah? Three grab, op three grab opening combos, right? Just to take away 50% of your health. Yeah, which is why it's not very efficient. Yeah. Unless you really, really have no choice. Oh, CC resist. Damn. Oh. But you got CC again. Damn. That was painful for the Musa, man. Ouch. Okay, GG. Well played, man. GG. Well played. Same size 2 0 for the Gladiator. Yep. GG. Well played. Alright, moving on. Next we have looks like Reaper versus a Berserker. Alright, this will be interesting. Alright, let's take a look at the Reaper's winning percentage. 64.6. Eh, that is actually quite above average. Yeah. I mean even the win to lose percentage is quite tilted one side to the winning count, yeah. Alright, what about the Berserker? Wow, all wins, man. Hey, that looks like a good player, man. And 63.9% as well. Alright, let's jump straight away to round 1 between the Reaper and the Berserker. Let's go. Alright. Okay, that was dangerous for the Reaper, right? Uh, Because he or she almost got CC. Yeah. Yeah, that was close. Yeah, but good reflexes on the Reaper for dodging right away. Yeah. Okay, and the Reaper managed to land a CC and now it's spinning. Okay, so for now the Berserker is slightly behind. Right? Slightly in an disadvantage in terms of HP. So even just by trading super armor skills, right, the Reaper will still come out winning. As long as the Reaper doesn't get compo like what just happened. So this will be quite close, yeah. 
So right now it's quite even in terms of HP, but the Berserker is very, very close to dying. Oh, oh well. GG, man. GG. Yeah. Well played, well played by the Reaper. Alright, so that was round one. Let's jump right away to round two. Right, let's see if the Berserker will be able to make a comeback. Alright. Okay, he just did a reckoning there uh, and hit air. I'm not sure why the Berserker did that. That was kind of wasted. And the Reaper didn't follow up or follow through with the days. Kind of wasted as well. Oh, 9 CC from the Reaper is a bit of spin to win now. Alright. Let's see how the Reaper managed to get away from the reckoning. That was good. Good play from the Reaper, but now the Reaper got caught in the CC. Damn, nice damage from the Berserker. Alright, so now the Reaper is trading some damage using protector skills, which is a bit dangerous. Okay, but he managed to get the uh, Berserker in the CC. Damn, and just from trading skills, the uh, Berserker lost out due to low HP, and that gave the Reaper, right, the win. So GG, well played. I mean, to both players as well. Alright, so that was the Reaper versus the Berserker quarterfinals. Alright. So as you can see here, let me put us pause that. Okay, we have our winners from the quarterfinals. Okay. Okay, we'll do the reaction to the semi-finals next in the next video. Yeah, because I don't want to drag the video for too long. Okay, so if you want to watch my reaction to the semi-finals as well, uh, do let us know in the comments below. And we'll see you soon on the next reaction video for Black Desert Mobile Cook Korean Showdown 2022. Alright, so as usual everyone, stay awesome and stay safe. Trust man. Bye.